Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. We truly live in both sad times and exceptional times. We wake up every morning to even better news than we had the morning before. Whether it's our economic boom, our unemployment numbers dipping to numbers not seen in over two decades, or the fact that North Korea has decided to become part of the civilized world. But as Fox News reports, we also wake up every morning only to learn about more and more left-wing celebrities, both the famous and the washed-up kind, once again, becoming unhinged at another Hollywood elitist event where just two short years ago they would drool over the sight of Barack Hussein Obama, the same president whose presidency turned out to be something out of a B-movie that went straight to DVD. But this time President Trump has had enough. He slammed Robert De Niro for being a very low-IQ individual who has received too many shots to the head. This response came after the actor's profanity-laced tirade during Sunday's politically charged Tony Awards and a year and a half of constant insults and threats from the actor who was once funny but is now a total zero. Trump tweeted, Robert De Niro, a very low IQ individual, has received too many shots to the head by real boxers in movies. I watched him last night and truly believe he may be punch drunk. I guess he doesn't realize the economy is the best it's ever been with employment being at an all-time high and many companies pouring back into our country. Wake up punchy! Breitbart reported on De Niro's attacks on Trump. Actor Robert De Niro unloaded on President Donald Trump during a speech to high school students this week, at one point appearing to compare the president to the Nazi leader Adolf Hitler. Addressing students at an awards ceremony for recipients of the Rosemary Breslin American Writer Award in New York. De Niro dedicated a large part of his speech to attacking Trump and Republicans in Congress for failing to tell the truth. So what about the truth? What does the truth even mean today? I mean, if you're Donald Trump it doesn't mean anything. If you're cowardly Republican enablers in Congress you don't let the truth stand in the way of pathetically clinging to power, he said. Our country is led by a president who believes he can make up his own truth. And we have a word for that, bullshit. For example, you might say, as have many professionals, that Trump manifests a serious mental illness that renders him psychologically incapable of discharging duties of the President of the United States. That he's afflicted with a narcissistic personality disorder. That he's a congenital liar. A mean-spirited, soulless, amoral, abusive con artist son of a bitch. Fuck Donald Trump, he continued. And I say this, cause I am not political, but I am now. You guys are the future. The 72-year-old casino star then went on to compare Trump's rise to that of Adolf Hitler, whose rise to power in the 1930s led to a world war and mass genocide that killed over 60 million people. We're in a dangerous situation. You know with Hitler, with other despots, people didn't take them seriously, they laughed at them, he remarked. And then what happened, they turned around and it was too late. We can't let that happen in this country and you guys are the ones to do it. Although most of his remarks were met with a scattering of applause, some audience's members could be heard expressing their disapproval. His reference to Hitler, meanwhile, was met with an awkward silence. Inappropriate, one woman could be heard saying. What does this have to do with the kids? Since Trump's rise to the presidency, De Niro has joined many Hollywood stars in sounding off over America's current political climate. Before the 2016 election, he even spoke of how he wanted to punch Trump in the face. I mean, he's so blatantly stupid. He's a punk, he's a dog, he's a pig, he's a con, he's a bullshit artist, a mutt who doesn't know what he's talking about, doesn't do his homework, doesn't care, thinks he's gaming society, doesn't pay his taxes," De Niro said in an anti-Trump video broadcast. He's an embarrassment to this country, he continued. He talks, about, how he wants to punch people in the face. I'd like to punch him in the face. The problem Hollywood and its elite has with President Trump is that they are afraid of us peons raising up. They like to see us against the ropes and where we belong. They don't want to see us doing well because if we do we might find better things to do with our time than to sit down and watch the god-awful movies they come out with in hopes of capturing what Hollywood once was. A time when although Hollywood was still full of druggies, socialists, and communists, people still looked up to these pretenders with the hopes that they were at least 5% of that they claimed to be in the roles they played. But thankfully today we are aware of the truth thanks to their constant displays on social and conventional media. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.